Well, the cops are swooping in, so maybe they're waiting for us over there. Darn. All right, guys, we are in Seattle, Washington. So it's Sunday. Uh, I don't even know what day it is. Yeah. We're here to support our Second Amendment right. And as you can see, we got a bunch of cops following us. We got the Seattle PD right here. We got us a guy with the box. We got some guys with some big cameras. This is the mall right here. Yeah. The mall is in Yeah, I'm gonna screw you up. I'm gonna go up here real quick. We got counter protesters. Counter protesters. Police oh. escort. Holy crap, we got. Seattle came out big time for us. We got the guys on the bikes, bicycles. Yeah! Trump, Trump! I'm surprised nobody's been yelling Trump. Man. We should get a fucking yell bad loud for Antifa. Yeah. Dude, they were here earlier. They're scumbags. I'm always sad when I miss them. Man, I gotta come to Seattle more often. This is awesome. I have no action in my city. Man, that dude's like, what the fuck is that? He's not feeling that. <laughs> you guys from here? Seattle? Yeah. Uh, yeah, right. We're from Spokane. Born in Alaska. Oh, like, who the fuck is grabbing me? I was like, oh, they're just like... I'm talking about Antifa. They might be just behind me. Well, you guys got cop protection. I thought they disappeared, and they're all no, motorcycles. Like, and... SPD's always helping us out. That's awesome. Yeah, they're really good to us. But it would be kind of stupid to fuck like, people with guns, but I just, I don't know. These libtards are not all there in their brains. Like, yeah. kind of a, like a serious... Antifa. I'm from Spokane, but I'm there like they got a little wannabe Antifa there. Oh, shit. So they made me their little target. Hey, I'm Meth, by the way. Meth? Will. Yeah. Will? Yes, nice oh, to meet you. Nice to meet you, Will. Hey, you get one of these? No, I sure did. Oh, yeah. Go online on the bottom there, find out yeah. more about us, you know. Hey, Will. 
I was telling Joey, because when he came over and spoke with us, uh, we need to get something started in Spokane, because yeah. these scumbag Antifa, like I said, they're wannabes. Right. But they actually, uh, well, you know about doxing. I didn't know about yeah. doxing, but they think I'm a doxer because I see them, I mean, they're so stupid, they'll be out there protesting in broad daylight. So I stop and I carry a camera everywhere. There you go. Then I'm taking pictures. Next thing you know, they're finding out who I am. Uh huh. Telling people I'm a white national. Just like Tiny, you know, like. <laughs> Tiny, the Dude, white Do you guy. see my fucking skin yeah. color? My nose? I'm. Yeah. Well, I get called a Nazi and a white supremacist all the yeah. time. And I'm pale, but yeah. I'm actually Puerto Rican. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. But yeah, they're Puerto fucking Rican, so cool. Filipino. Clueless. I got a little bit of Irish and Polish in me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But this is awesome, yeah, I definitely. You got more? You got a couple more of these? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll take them. Yeah. Yeah. Pass them out, put them up someplace where they can be seen and be yeah. like liberal. <laughs> well, and, and in Spokane over there, you know, they, I see the Antifa stickers. They slap yeah. them all over the place. There you go. You know, that's well, what. Well, I'm looking at starting a contest to uh, get one of these stickers over, you know, any Antifa sticker. Yeah. And, you know, get the, you know, the best picture of the year, like 100 bucks or something like that. You know? I'm not a rich man, but, you know. Yeah. Good way to motivate people. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Yeah, yeah I fucking hate them though. I was like, oh. I'm a veteran. I just like these guys are so fucking low. I mean, I, just, I don't even know. I'm just like, man. It, it, it's very right. low. It's very over the top. It's the line. Yeah. The line pisses me off more than anything else. Yeah. You know, there's plenty of reasons you can hate me. I'm yeah. an asshole. Yeah. <laughs> just, just pick one yeah. that's real. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Because I just, I mean, we've been called a Russian. I mean, even after telling them I'm a veteran, I proudly serve my country honorably. Do you not know what? Thank you for your service, by the way. Yeah, thank you. But I mean, nowadays it's a little, I mean, the younger generation got all these little millennials. Obviously, I've noticed that a lot of these younger veterans, they're kind of libtards themselves. Like, they're, they, they think just like these liberals, and you know, it's sad because they're veterans, you know, like. Right. But then again, I gotta think, you know, what, you know, the, what time it is. You know, I'm 40, I'm 42, so I'm a little older, but it's just like this liberalism has taken hold of people. And they want everything free. Well, you know, if, you, if anything touches you about the uh, Cowboys, if it's something you can back, you can start your own chapter out there, man. Yeah, we should. I should be looking yeah. to. Because you know, that's, that's the what thing. It takes people stepping up. And well, yeah. It, you know? Well, Joey was supposed to come out to Spokane a few weeks ago, mm -hmm. and he had to cancel the event because yeah. of family issues. Probably heard that, but. Uh, yeah. Oh, so, I'm actually on his campaign too. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I was really excited, you know, and so I I ride a bicycle, uh -huh. and I showed up. I rode downtown, but I, on my bicycle helmet. Uh -huh. It says Trump, like in big red letters, and it has blood dripping down from the letters. But, well, I mean, kind of like a Make uh, America Great hat, you know, yeah. but it literally, like, people see that, my helmet that says Trump, I've been told that that's hostile and intimidating. I'm like, seriously, it's just the word Trump? That's our yeah. president. <laughs> you know, but, and that's how they see this bullshit, you know. But, uh, I should have worn it today. I don't see nobody wearing helmets. Uh, yeah, you know, I've been to so many of these, and every time, even when I've been directly targeted, nothing's ever happened to me. I've never uh, been pepper sprayed, never been hit. People have tried hitting me. Yeah. They've thrown bottles up into me. I've had guys run up to me behind me like this. Oh. And you know about the, the loaded shotgun arm? The shotgun uh -huh, arm? Yeah. Uh -huh. they, they take a wrench and they tape it to the inside of their uh -huh, arm. And then they just hit you they, at the back. Yeah. They, they, they pull their coat down so you can't see it, and then they come up and bam. Oh, because I know they use bike lock, U locks, yeah. so they do all, you know. But I wouldn't see them trying that today because they'd probably get shot. And they'd be like, uh, well, see, I'd be afraid somebody would try to push it just, yeah. just to be that hero. That and that's what I was telling my friend. Yeah, that's what I was saying. They'll probably show up and try to taunt somebody to get them to where, hey, he threatened me with the gun. You know, Joey's lying. You know, he's got people are threatening us. Yeah. I know how they fucking but, but work. That's all it takes <laughs> for brandishing is that you have a gun out and somebody feels threatened by it. You don't even have yeah. to be touching it. Exactly. I think that's a bunch of bull. <laughs> exactly, yeah. It's fucking bullshit. Yeah, but I'm gonna start coming over here more often because there's no, really no, I'm not saying there's like action, but this is kind of excitement for me. Probably not for you guys because you guys deal with this all the time. It's like, 
Well, tomorrow they're going up to uh, UW. Now and that to, would uh, be awesome. And do an open carry up there. And last time they went up there, they received a lot of resistance. Oh yeah, wasn't that February? Like they had. Yeah, I, I seen so, on yeah. YouTube yeah. something. And you know, it, it, it's funny because you know I'm also friends with uh, Chevy Swanson. Uh -huh. He's uh, running for um, office as well. He actually got asked by the uh, local uh, party head to do it, but he's uh. the. Uh, president of the uh, college republicans over oh, at uw young guy nice. young guy brave as hell though man i'll tell you what he actually sued the uh, school because they were trying to hit him for a ten thousand dollar security oh. fee for the month the rally yeah, they were back. trying to do that in spokane for joey yeah the, they were talking about because you know, they should charge them for police protection like yeah are they charging the joey for this shit no no this is the city the, I, I will say one thing man seattle city has done fairly well providing General security, much better than Portland. Yeah. Um, and I think it's just because they're afraid of getting sued. Oh. You know, the cops are out here wholeheartedly. They support us. Man, so many times cops ride by us on their bikes. Yeah, I know. I know. It just sucks because they can't. It's like a lot of people. A lot of people don't even want to admit that they support Trump. Yeah. They're just on the bandwagon. They got friends, family. They don't want to. And I've they talked to many, they just don't want to admit it, so they don't say it. But it's sad that our country's gotten that way. You're, you're ashamed to say he's your president? You're saying, fuck you. Like, I love our president. The last president we had is a piece of garbage, I say. He's a fucking... No, I'll tell you what, man. The last few have just continually yeah. chipped away George at our Bush, life. all these fucking... Yeah, Bush with the Patriot Act and all that bullshit. Yeah. Yeah. That's what's really started the surveillance on the American people. And I actually voted for Bush uh, twice, actually. Yeah. But I mean, fuck him. He's just part of the, you know, part of the, uh, you know, he's a globalist, just like right. Obama, Clinton. And, and see, that's what it comes down to. All Everybody are. wants yeah. to make it, you know, right left thing. Yeah. No, it's globalists, yeah. mil billionaires, and the rest exactly. of us. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> yeah. They will use the whole right left thing. Yeah. They will use Twisted. whatever they can to keep us fighting each other, not focused on them. Yep. And that's why I'm glad we got guys like Joey and all these. Yeah. You know, well, he, his eyes are open to it. And President really Trump. I mean, yeah, he's a little bit different. He was a rich guy, but but you really think about it, why is he actually president? Why would somebody go through all the yeah. shit he's went through just well, to be president? He has not been invited to Bilderberg yet. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Trump has not been to Bilderberg, yeah. so. Well, we'll see after he meets with the. Uh, <laughs> we'll see after he meets with the little rocket man. So. Yeah. yeah. They screw well, them well, with the little well, fucking well, 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 and uh, George Bush, they were they all went out to Bilderberg the year before the election. <laughs> they were both Christian. Oh, um, that's my guess. I don't know. I, I, but, I think that kind of makes it a little bit of Personally, I think they just have it as you flow back and forth to right and left. The same policy is still free. I don't even know where we're at here. <laughs> I don't even get clue. I have a clue. Oh, pop-up pop-up speech, pop-up speech. Sweet. Good job, guys. <laughs> slowly changes, get to the point where open carry is controversial. Hell no, it's not controversial to have a gun out in the open, in your holster, there's nothing wrong with that. Not the sign. So that people get used to it. They understand that a gun that doesn't go off by itself. I saw this video and I laughed my ass off. Can you show the guy with your handgun and his table?
There's a reason why. There is a cultural problem in this city where they want you to be more of people hell out. And that's why, that's what I'm Going shooting up schools like, because yeah. they come from getting kidnapped by yeah. these fucking by Washington. Yeah, yeah. New mothers, SSRIs. <laughs> Woo -hoo. What's his name? Uh, Joey Gibson. Woo -hoo. Joey Gibson. Yep, you Joey. Yeah, let me get. Let me see if I got him. Yeah, you should talk to him. Joey Gibson. So he's running against Maria Cantwell, who's a senator. She's been in power for like over 20 years. So not your first day. So they're trying to, you know, term limits, trying to get these career politicians that sit in, in uh, you know, these seats of power and collect money. And so that's kind of what he fights for. Yeah. Yeah. But because of what he stands for. Um, I, what do you mean? Start. How does it start? I've been writing Congress. Yeah. I've been convicted for a crime I haven't committed. Well, he's always having these events. And if you know about, you read about I Joey know. Gibson, like, he's kind of controversial because some of the people that he attracts, you know, that gets attracted to some of these events. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you, know, you can't control. Mm -hmm. Like, I've Did been, you if you look at me, I, I, I've been called a Nazi. I've been called a white supremacist. Right. I'm, I'm dark. I, you know, right, look right, at my... Right. Right. But that's what they do nowadays. These white, right. these white, rich liberals, okay. they're called Antifa. And I don't know if you heard about them in the news, but they go around and they say they're fighting racists. It's crazy. But, so you see all the police, that's kind of why there's so much, well, I don't know, I don't, that's kind of surprising, all this police protection, but. I'm following that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you're in a safe spot if you follow up. Uh, when he's going to talk about these kids is being kidnapped by the system. Yeah. Can I talk to him? Yeah, you can probably. Hey, Joey. I got a friend. So she wants to talk to you. Question, sir. Sure. You want to speak about, these kids, about our children that are being kidnapped by CPS? Yeah. How they want to challenge us? Right. You right. know how they want to take our rights? Yeah. You know how you take a mother's right? Yeah. Without, without due took, process, too. Exactly. No, I'm and how do you the, give a stipulation on a mother that has been committed for a crime that she did not commit? Right. And then she loves her child to fight, and then you're constantly giving them stipulation after stipulation. Yeah. I have a lot of people bring that up to me right now. 
And not only that, on top of that, there's a lot of pedophilia in the system too. Mm. So yeah. I'm definitely looking into that and the human trafficking, it's all related, it's all connected. Yeah. So, and yeah, the, the government no is still in our kids. I know they are. Is, are they? Are we on TV? Because really, speak about that. Okay. Speak know, about them kidnapping our babies and want to tell us that our kids are better off with a, a stranger, but we teach them stranger danger. That's right. How the fuck does that work? Yeah. Does it? Excuse yeah. me. Am I being? No, he's no, good. you're good, man. You're good. Yeah. 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 My name is Bridget Jones, and I'm looking forward to seeing you more, but please, my son, my grandson is in the CPS system. Yeah, show that to your friends. That's my God again, thanks to the Board of City Council. Oh, yeah. So, uh, I, I missed the first part of that. We talked about it. Well, she just came up to me and asked what's going on. I told her, I, I told her who he was, and she's like, "Oh, Joey Gibson." I kind of heard about him. I was like, "Yeah." Wait, what is he? What is he? Say about? No, she just wondered who he was. I said, "He's Joey Gibson. He's running for Senate." And I gave her the little, little uh, postcard there. And so she's like, "I want to talk to him." I'm like, "Well, go ahead and talk to him. He'll talk to you." He's like, unlike these other politicians that won't fucking give you a second most of the time. This is the type of stuff, like these little moments are the things that make the yeah. thing. Yeah, I'm serious. What you want to be? No, I just, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, go, Joey, good job. Anything's going to go off, but it's like, we might clash with the. It's in the Bible, too. I don't know where it's at, so I'm not going to quote it, but I know that it says that man's laws are curses. Yeah. Do you know that part? Anybody out here know that part? No? Read y'all's Bible, y'all. For real. And you a good man. I don't know anything about you at all, but I'm going to rock with you. Oh, uh, yeah. Good job. Thank you. There you go, right there, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Told her, go talk to him. He'll talk to you. We love you. Yeah, fuck you too. That's what I would be saying. Like, yeah. Hey. I'm like, screw you. Where's your Zima? Yeah. Pussies. They're hiding. <laughs> they disappeared. Gotta go. Soy boys don't belong in America. Fuck out. Come on. Yeah, where they go? <laughs> yeah, we're not jaywalking, blocking traffic. Fuck. Awesome. Antifa would do that shit. Share all that video I got of you. I got some good, like, 
be right in front of you. Some of them got arrested. Profile's 30 day block on each. They called Obama a cocksucker. And they called uh, Bradley Mann a traitor. He needs to be shot. Hate speech. <laughs> like hate speech? Come on, man. Yep, 30 days. I got 30 days for posting a picture of the people for You did? Oh. Yeah. Bullshit. They post all of them all the time. They post their addresses. I know, that's bullshit. And with me, and just so you know, I might not forget to tell you, but if you come back to Spokane, City Councilman, uh, Spokane City Councilman uh, Mike Fagan, he's a good friend of mine, but I told him about your rally that got canceled. I actually showed up to your rally, and I was interviewed by the Spokesman Review. They actually took a picture of me and called me your lone protester with my picture and caption. Is that at the... Yeah, I spoke in Spokane. Spokane Valley. So that day that you canceled, you were supposed yeah. to speak. Uh, Spokane, Democrat, uh, Socialists, yeah. and Antifa, they showed up. And there was probably like 30, 40 of them waiting for you. And I showed up, and there was nobody else, because I didn't realize you had canceled the event. Yeah. And uh, so, yeah, I was just there by myself. But Did they just not know that you canceled it? I don't know. I checked the Facebook. I guess I missed the post, but... I told these other guys that I brought today, the second, uh, the Spokane Concealed, next time you come to Spokane, you're going to have a bunch of people there. Because so, that's what needs to happen. You need to show these fucking Antifa, like, especially in Spokane. They don't run shit. Scumbags.
Hey scumbag, I'm not white. I'm not white guy in the, the animal suit. I'm not white. Stupid sign. Support President Trump. I'm a racist. Fuck you. You're like, a Democrat. <laughs> Your party invented the KKK. Yeah, exactly. Well, they're trying to race history. Of course, they wouldn't know that. No, and they don't in the yeah. school books, do they? Yeah. 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 My kid comes over every day talking about new stuff. I'm like, no. Yeah. Here's the truth. I know. How's it going, brother? See, he's not. He's not white either. No. And he's in marching with us. Yeah. Uh, he's no. a press guy, though. Yeah. Yeah, hopefully he's a good person. Independent, non-biased, right? Non-biased. But he knows what's up, though. I, I'm pretty sure he sees what's up. We're not racist, are we? <laughs> we don't. I don't think. I don't think I are. I wouldn't be hanging out with racists if we were. Trust me. I hate the Nazis and the KKK just like you do, but that's it, right? Yeah. <laughs> they can have Black Lives Matter. Well. Uh, no, I and the NWACP and yeah, but if you say that though, you're really like National Black Caucus. Yeah. You know, I look at all this and I'm like, yeah. If, if I did that as a white man, if I did that as a white dude, it'd be yeah. Yeah. Black. The biggest thing is with their immigration. Yeah. Immigrants are welcome here, sure, yeah. legally. Yeah. Come through the process like my ancestors did. Yeah. Yeah. Come through like my ex-wife did. I helped her study for a citizenship there you go. test. And, and there was shit I didn't even know, and I'm an American okay. citizen. I love There's history. The, I'm like, the difference the citizenship huh? t test is harder. The difference here That's, is that the people who come here through the process of the uh, law are called immigrants. The other yeah. are called illegals. Illegal. Illegal. Yeah. Exactly. And I'm a veteran, so we need to provide for not just our veterans, but our own people, our own homeless, and our own, instead of like giving all these money to these illegals that come here breaking our laws. I mean, it's just crazy, like how they think. Like, so, I don't know how many billions of dollars are being spent to help them open businesses. Yeah, exactly. Uh, they're just clueless people, man. Like, they're brainwashed. 
Yeah. Hey, we got the guy that says people are pretty white. Yep. Gotta be human. That's the gayest looking costume I've ever seen, though, if you ask me. What is he supposed to be? Hey, the big bad wolf? The memos are at the wrong part. Yeah. Right. Hey, this is not a costume party. This is an actual yeah, rally. You, you know, know, like. Yeah. Yeah. Are you, who who hears? I'm pretty white. He's calling yeah. you white, man. 